arrived in Finland for our first competition of the season. We love this competition. It's one we've done many times before. The Finlandia Trophy is the first international competition and it's time to shine because all the world is watching. This is one of three competitions with the other Spanish team, Sarah and Kirill, in order to qualify ourselves for the games. So there's a lot on our shoulders. There's some history there with the other Spanish team. Sarah was my ex-partner, so we competed together for seven years. Representing Spain, Sarah Cortano and Adrian Diaz. It's been a respectful relationship, but we think different about skating. Let's just say that. I'm feeling excited, but at the same time tired. I didn't really sleep on the plane, uh, but it's okay, because we have the whole day to just rest. Thank you. Thank you, enjoy. Hey, guys. Hello. How are you? Pretty good. Thanks. Want to go see you? Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah. We should do this all the time. It feels great. To get a day early. Competition week is like way more chill in a way. You just have one practice a day and then the rest of the day it's just like acclimate, mm. settle yeah. in. Hydrate, eat. I mean, I'm gonna assume that the coaches enjoy also going competition, right? Not being at the nice rink all yeah. day coaching. <laughs> yeah. the, volume, the, volume the volume goes less. Down, but the, the stress yeah. levels go up. The stress and the intensity goes up. I'm sure that's what the coaches feel like for us, like very invested. Yeah. Like they pretend they're chill, but they're not. Like you see Roman before coming to school. So you skate well, okay? So you think about this and that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> now you relax. You relax. <laughs> Just okay. you. Me or you? <laughs> like, I'm relaxed, you need to calm down. Yeah. <laughs> And then Patch is just like... Patch is pretty yeah. good at not... Smiling at you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Patch texted this morning. He said, I heard the rink is freezing, so either layer up or skate really hard. So he yeah. definitely <laughs> copy and pasted that message. Yeah, yeah, exactly degrees. what he sent to us. So he said, heard the practice joke. is really cold. It's bring something yeah. warm or just skate really hard. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, we reply saying, we'll bring something warm. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's so cute. Oh, I love fried fish. It's so nice to be in a market. It's just nice to break up the routine. You know, we do the same thing every day, mm -hmm. over and over again. Yeah. Is that a swimming pool in the middle? This is where I do my ice bath after. This is not a pool I would want to. No, it looks. No, I'll like take this. a heated pool. Interesting concept, though. It's not a paid vacation, but you get to travel with your friends. Yeah. For work, but also. Fun. Yeah. yeah, cheers. Cheers! Finlandia <laughs> <laughs> Trophy. Finlandia <laughs> Trophy. Yeah. theme is urban dance and we were trying to find something that felt like us. Whacking is a style of dance that was born in LA in the 80s in the queer scene, the, the gay clubs and the underground scene. It was created in the end of disco era to mark the strong accent in the music. You see a lot of roles, which is called a whack, inspired by ninja. So it's like a combat way of showing how strong they were without any violence. This style of dance has, was born from a desire to be empowered by marginalized communities. And you could sense that when you dance it. I can feel that it gives us strength. It's really the energy that we needed and that felt right with where we were at in our self-development. It's kind of perfect that way. Ago, I posted a picture with my boyfriend uh, at the time, and that was kind of the first time that it was obvious that I was gay. <laughs> a lot of people were like, congratulations for your coming out, and began this whole coming out story. It's 
been nice to see that younger people and even some like skating fans who were bullied sometimes are still being bullied. They find an escape in figure skating and watching it and I think being able to share their difficulties with me has helped them a bit. I just totally seized that one now. But what, what happened? Quiet. You just. Yeah. On est leur repère, je dirais, psychologique et aussi technique. Direction, edge. Yes. Huh? Place your foot, control, control, like. Confident in your technique, please. Okay. Euh, voilà, d'aller chercher l'émotion et du grand patinage. Finlandia Trophy is a very important competition for everyone, but particularly for Olivia and Adria, because it's the first of the three competitions with Sarah and Kirill, their competitors for the Spanish Olympic spot. We haven't been on a practice with the other Spanish team, Sarah and Kirill, since our last competition, Europeans. Not something we really, really pay attention to. We really try to focus on ourselves and our energy, but that's our yeah. competition this year. Long leg, Adri. Say, you know, works for extension. Olivia Adri ont du travail à faire demain. Fion, eux, c'est déjà la, vraiment la réelle course pour les Jeux Olympiques. Donc il va falloir que ça tape très haut pour aussi mettre à distance la pression sur Sarah et Kiri. You have one chance to show your programs and compete. There is no choice, they have to beat them. It is scary. Anything can happen. It's a big competition this time. It's our first international. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks. Thank you. Training has been really tough coming into this competition just because we've been juggling a brand new program. Let's go. I'm excited to just be out there and just like the lights and the good sound system. I'm excited to hear the audience reaction to our program. It just adds this layer of energy and electricity that you can't recreate in practice. And you never really know the response you're going to get. See you later.